three, two, one. Kendrick Johnson with Derek the Black Beast Lewis, one of the hardest hitters in UFC history. Do you think you're the hardest hitter in UFC history? With the, all the most knockouts of heavyweight, you got to be in the running. I believe so. I believe I am. What's your mentality fighting here? Do you feel any extra pressure to put on a show and get that knockout? Are you, God, can we see you win fights and be like, that was some BS? <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> it's not really no pressure, really, to go out there and um, try to look for the knockout because that's basically my fighting style, period, anyway. It's just always try to you know, get the finish. So if it comes, it comes. If not, it's not. I'm comfortable now in my career where. Yeah, I'm fine with just winning by decision. Do you feel like it's an honor or a slap in the face? They got this dude making his heavyweight debut against you. It's like for you to introduce him to the heavyweight, or you think they sign a gun for you? Like, man, Derek on that way out, so let's go and get, get match him up with Latif. <laughs> no, I don't think they think that. I just think that, um, that he's, um, he was ranked pretty high. He was coming up in the ranks pretty quick, I believe. And for him to come to heavyweight, I believe that he would be a good matchup. Because the guys that's behind me already, I guess they believe that they're not that great of a matchup for me. How cool is it to get, a, get a, even a louder pop than John yesterday at the little media thing? Got everybody from Houston supporting you, showing up and showing out. We still three days out for the fight. <laughs> Yeah, it was real cool. You know, I believe that the fans always show me other love than anyone else in the city I go to, so that was cool. Give some insight to your mentality, all the kind. People don't realize how sophisticated you are, how you, you work for your family, you make got business moves. How come more fighters don't take your blueprint on fighting, stacking his money, and helping their families out and not living crazy? Um, some fighters haven't been through anything in their life, so I've been through enough struggles and pains in my life to know what to do and what not to do. When well, well, you know the spotlight gonna be on you, do you, uh, do you got some one-liners carved up in your head for when somebody come at you? <laughs> no, I don't. I just freestyle. I ain't gonna tell them what I'm gonna say. You know, so hopefully I don't say anything crazy or that go, that's gonna go viral or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you worried about going viral again? I don't wanna go viral. <laughs> Why is that? Because my kids, um, my daughter at school, all her friends got cell phones, so they back Google and everything that I say, especially by my boss. So, so I was like, oh man, I got to tell you. Has your wife said anything to you about all that? No, she know I'm crazy. She know I got a crazy sense of things. Do you realize that they want to fight for another title? Of course, you, if you had given that opportunity, I'm pretty sure you walked through the door. Was that even a goal? Coming for a while, you like, I'm just here to make money for supporting my family. Yeah, um, if you fight for the title, that's fine, you know, but that's not my main goal. Um, my main goal is just to make money, but they're saying that you know, make more money if you do fight for the title and have a title, so that's where the money is at. Who's your favorite boxer and why? Um, my favorite boxer was Tyson. Um, and I like his backstory as well, all the struggles he went through. And, just the family that he didn't have, this family support that he didn't have growing up. If our question for me, how many more fights do we does the Black Beast guy know he had had the back issues and stuff like that? How many fights do you realistically have left in the, in your body? I have plenty, plenty more left in. Um, you know, I'm planning on fighting until I'm 40, and whenever I'm 40, I, like five more years, I plan on not doing this. Anymore.